For joining us, I'm Marina Harvey. A bad way to start the weekend. Those in Hawaii woke up to an emergency alert of a missile threat. That threat was a false alarm, and some in Kern County experienced the terror firsthand. The message instructed all to seek shelter right away and that it was not a drill. A second alert was sent out 38 minutes later and clarified that the threat was not real. Now, we spoke with locals who were in the midst of the trauma, and they described how shocked they were. My father-in-law went in the other room and got my mother-in-law up, and uh, my wife and I ran in the other room and uh, snuggled up our daughter on the bed and uh, she didn't know what was going on but uh, she was obviously she could tell that we were worried so she started getting a little teary and uh, then we grabbed her and we huddled up on the floor between the two beds the two queen size beds um, and kissed each other goodbye now the traumatic scare reached Kern County. We spoke to one local mother whose son is from Bakersfield, but he's living in Hawaii now. She was devastated when her son called her with the news. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty scary for a little bit there. Like, I want to jump on a plane and, and go there and like, be with him. I mean, he didn't have anybody at the time. Officials are saying the error was caused by someone pushing the wrong button during a shift change. The U.S. Pacific Command has confirmed there was no threat Hawaii's emergency management administrator is working to find out what went wrong in the agency's operations center. In a